What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm your girl Lorna Marie and today for you I'm bringing you a travel video, but this is going to be vacation food. Simple recipes that you can make inside of your hotel room, whether it has a kitchen or not, as long as it has a fridge and you can refrigerate these items, you're good to go. If you're into this sort of video, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so you're notified. I do a lot of lifestyle, mommy, travel, and organization videos here on my channel and I would just love to have you guys. I'm going to list all the product links, information down below. I'm going to put playlists down there for you guys as well as my website and my Amazon influencer link. And if you feel like depositing some positive energies, give your girl a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate it. Now all of these recipes are going to be the recipes on vacation that you can bring to the pool or the beach that are super easy to transport and I know that you're going to like them. Question of the day is what is one of your favorite recipes that you guys like to bring to the pool or beach or when you're on vacation? Let us know in the comments below. And without further ado, if you guys want to see what my favorite go-to vacation recipes are that are super easy and simple, then just keep watching. Like the So the first thing I want to show you guys is our Costco order. We always order on Costco.com and have it delivered to our hotel room. It is absolutely amazing. And I'm just going to go over a few things that we purchase for a week long trip. We get some Uncrustables and they're so easy to pull out of the freezer. We get a bunch of these snacks that we don't normally have. I try to eat healthy at home. So having these treats for the kids they just absolutely love it we get fruit of course and i love getting this vegetable tray because you get all of the cut up veggies you don't have to work to do any of it and then you also get some ranch some sauce to go with it which is really nice i get some sliced cheese and some eggs for breakfast the cheese also is for some sandwiches that i'm going to make in a recipe i also get all of these ham which is great because they fit so good on the english muffins i love getting these and then we also get some turkey bacon. I could have left the turkey bacon out, but we did end up eating it. I had one pack left over, but it's totally fine. I also get some bananas and some avocado for one of the recipes we're getting ready to make. Then we have some Lunchables, which are nice that the kids can grab and go. And then these are the English muffins that we get from Costco. And these are so good, you guys. These are croissants that I'm making with one of our recipes. And of course, got to have tortilla chips for our salsa and one of our recipes. And then I just get a pizza, which is super easy for the first night we're there, so we don't have to deal with it. So then I get um, some stuff from the regular grocery store. I get some different salsas. Now, I got three because I meant to get two, but my husband got one because he didn't know if I got salsa or not, which was fine. But we just used one for the guac and one just for regular salsa. I got a bunch of different flavored beers because we're in Hawaii and why not? Then I have my mayo and mustard. We got some cut fruit and some lime, which is so nice to have with drinks and other stuff. And I got some Kettle One because I like to make my drinks because I feel like it's so expensive. Maybe I'll get one nice drink and then we get water and Coke, Diet Coke. I usually drink the Stevia ones, but they're hard to find on vacation. So anyways, here is my kitchen bag. I've shown this to you guys before, but I just thought it would be a good idea that I showed you guys again for people that are new here. This is my basically my travel kitchen bag. It has everything you can possibly think of. We are a condiment family. We like spices and sauces on everything. So this just ensures that we always have things that we like to eat with our food. So this little pack, this is just a little Mac bag that I got. I'll try to put a comparable one down below, but I get these little containers off of Amazon and I have paprika, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Those are my staples. I absolutely have to have those no matter what. So then in this back pouch, I just have matcha and my protein powders and just a bunch of different little mixes that I have here. And I like having these. I also have a video on all of my health stuff I like to bring. So I'll list that video down for you below. But I always bring a little paring knife. In this bag, I also bring a mini spatula. And then I also bring a little mini tongs. And I will show you guys pictures of those right here. This is my tea bags and I also bring some stevia. This is my tapatio. I like to put this on cucumbers and 
tacos or whatever else if I don't have the kind of hot sauce that I like because I love this one. And then I bring some packets of ketchup because my family is obsessed with ketchup. We have to have ketchup. And then we also have some mustard. Then we have tahine, which I'm gonna be using in one of my recipes that I'm getting ready to show you guys, but I always have tahine. We put it in beer, all kinds of crazy stuff, but I love having it on me. And these are just some sugar-free coffee mate creamers that my husband likes to put in his coffee. So we also have those as well. Then I keep some of these emergency vitamin C packs. I just like having these that are in my kitchen stuff. So if the kids need to take some, they can. So this is how you make the eggs inside of your hotel room. So you don't need to boil water or anything like that. Sorry, my little thing is missing. It's like the little tray that the eggs sit inside of. I'll try to insert a picture here for you guys so you can see what it looks like. And I just have this paper towel in here because I'm trying to dry it. But you just plug it in the wall, you add a little bit of water, and 10 minutes later, you have your hard boiled eggs, which is amazing, you guys. Obviously, if you wanna boil them on a stove and you have access to you know, the stove top, why not? But this pack's super easy, it's really lightweight, and it's amazing to bring with you, so love this thing. So our first recipe is going to be egg salad sandwich, and you have to basically boil your eggs. I have a dozen here, but I just wanted to show you guys that I cut it long ways down the middle, and then I give it a turn and cut it again, kind of like a cross pattern. And then I move it around, and then I just cut little tiny pieces, and it's just so easy with a butter knife because an egg's super soft, and I just basically keep cutting it until I make it pretty small. And then I even go back in there with the knife and I just make it as small as possible. I like ours, you know, pretty small instead of like super big and chunky, but don't mind me flinging all the eggs everywhere. Um, I guess I was extra excited this particular morning. So then what I'm gonna do is just add mayo. This is about a tablespoon and a half, another tablespoon and a half, and then another tablespoon and a half. So this is about four and a half tablespoons. And then I do probably two tablespoons of mustard, and then I have salt. And we like ours pretty salty, but the best thing about these recipes, you guys, is there's no measuring. It's pretty much how much you guys wanna put. You don't like as much mayo as I use, just do less. And then I do salt, pepper, garlic powder. Garlic powder, I feel like, is super important in here. It definitely adds a different element to it that I feel like it needs. And then I also do a little sprinkle of paprika, smoked, smoked paprika. And then I just give everything a stir and I just keep mixing until it's all fully combined. But not having to measure anything out is just makes it so much easier when you're on vacation because who wants to whip out the measuring cups and the measuring spoons and all of that? It definitely makes it way more challenging when you're on the go. So anyways, like I said, I'm just gonna be mixing everything together. And another thing that I think is so important that you do when you're making stuff like this is to taste as you go. So I'm gonna give it a taste and see if it needs anything else. And I feel like it needs a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper. And for me, this is a step you cannot skip. You have to taste it and make sure everything is good. And then I just keep mixing and combining everything to make sure it is all in there. But obviously I needed a little bit more pepper. <laughs> so yeah, we like ours with extra mayo, but I feel like you guys you know, could probably get away with three or four tablespoons. Um, you know, whatever you guys like, but I would just start out with a little bit and then, you know, add more. But these are those croissants from Costco I showed you guys earlier. Oh my gosh. This is such a treat for us because we don't ever buy these on the regular. We try to eat healthy when we're at home. So when we're on the go, this is just such a nice treat having the buttery croissants with the egg salad. Now you can add um, lettuce to these or, you know, pickle or whatever you want to do, but we just this is it makes it super simple easy I don't got to wash lettuce I don't have to do anything and it's really good easy to go I feel like the bread doesn't get soggier it gets better with egg salad it's just delish all right next up we are doing guacamole but this is not traditional this is just super easy you guys there's no fresh ingredients besides the avocado but I'm just showing you guys all the ingredients where it's pretty much the same thing that I used earlier all of my basics, my staples, salt, pepper, garlic powder, but we are adding tahini, which I feel like sets it off. Of course you need lime and the easy part, we're gonna do salsa instead of all of your fresh ingredients, which is usually cilantro, um, onion, tomato, 
garlic, all that stuff. So you put a generous amount in there. And this is another one of those recipes. You don't have to measure anything. So if you want more lime, add more lime. You want more salsa, add more salsa if you want that flavor. But I basically squeeze the lemon, excuse me, squeeze the lime, put the salsa. Now I'm gonna put all of the seasonings, the salt, the pepper, the garlic powder, all those things like I said before. And you guys, it's literally that easy. Then, you know, of course, the tahini, and I put a generous amount. I feel like this is what sets it off and gives it all the flavor. And then I just take a fork and I just mash everything up. Now, this is also personal preference. You guys just have to decide if you want it more chunky. We don't really like ours too chunky, just, just a little chunky. But I like to incorporate everything really, really well and give everything a stir. Now people are probably like, oh my gosh, this is not real guac. No, it is not, but it's the easy way. Honestly, I even do this at home when I'm super busy during the week and we're making tacos. I just don't have time to cut all the ingredients and this is just such an easy way to get all the flavor and it tastes so good, you guys. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It is delish and super easy. All right now we have to do the taste test. This is the most important part. And I feel like everything tasted really good because I always make this, but I wanted to show you guys these amazing containers that are so easy to travel with. I love that they're pink. They fold down flat, absolutely obsessed with them. They come in different colors and you guys, they're amazing. Okay, so after that's done, my last recipe are sandwiches, but what makes them special is the bread, just like with the croissants, but this time, we're doing Hawaiian bread, which has a little bit of a sweet flavor. These you can also get from Costco. So I'm just cutting around and I keep going so I can make sure that I don't um, cut the bread incorrectly where you know one side's bigger than the other side. So I just kind of take my time and you know cut them as best as possible. And then what I do is I put a generous amount of mayo because we love mayo and I feel like it just sets the sandwich off because it is pretty thick piece of bread. So I feel like it kind of needs the moisture. Not that they're not moist, that's such a crazy word to say, but they're really, really good already, but the mayo just sets it off. And then you gotta put a little mustard, it adds some zest to it, but we only put mustard on one side, that's just particularly how we like it, but this is just one of those recipes. If you only want mayo on one side, you know, whatever you guys want, that's the beauty of it. Just like the ham here, I'm putting ham on here, but you guys can put a thin layer, a thick layer, however you like it. So that's what makes it easy to travel with these recipes or have them by the polar beach. Then after the ham, we're gonna add some cheddar because we believe cheddar's better around here. Love cheddar, so we're putting some cheddar cheese over the ham. We're just doing one layer of cheese, but you can do two layers of whatever you want. You can do pepper jack, that'd probably be really good, or you can do you know, multiple different kinds of cheese. You don't even have to do cheese. You can do pesto and chicken or whatever, but I just love this bread. It just is so good, you guys, on sandwiches for a special treat. Now I also do salt and pepper and a little bit of garlic powder over one of the sides of mayo. I just feel like it makes the sandwich taste better. It adds, you know, some more flavor to it. Then we're gonna put the top on. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to cut these. Now you guys can cut them however you want, but we are cutting them into um, two square sandwiches. So I'm cutting it down long ways down both rows here and then I'm gonna turn them and just cut it down the center and then I'll cut them again later on for my bait my toddlers I'll just they'll get one little square each but you guys this is such a good hack you take the whole thing and keep it in the tray that it came in and you slide it into the bag it is so amazing you guys this is such a great hack to put inside of your cooler or whatever and you don't need to buy any other containers or ziploc bags and I just feel like it's so nice. And then you put the little plastic thing at the top and you are good to go. Like all your sandwiches are ready and they're ready for the cooler. Love this. And also you have to have pickles, you guys. I mean, you don't have to, but it definitely sets it off. It's so good. So if you can get the pickles to the beach or the pool, I would highly suggest. 
All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed my easy go-to vacation recipes that you can make inside your hotel room. If you can use anything I showed you here today, give your girl a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, what are you waiting for, girl? Subscribe and hit that little bell. Like I said, I'll list everything I can find for you down below. And don't forget to answer that question of the day. What is your favorite on-the-go vacation recipe? Let us know in the comments and just come say hello. I love seeing you guys down there and getting to know everybody. If you've made it all the way to this point, give your girl a palm tree emoji and let me know that you did. I appreciate you watching my video. It really, really helps out my channel. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Lauren Marie.